Greetings, guys, all over the world. What a marvelous time. What a marvelous hour. My name is Yamgela Joseph. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. And it is a marvelous time once again to be in your presence and to speak to you the word of the Lord. Remember, Jesus reigns. The only thing that we want is to make sure that Jesus Christ is reigning all over the world, is reigning everywhere, and is reigning in your life. Today, I'm so much privileged and I'm so much glad today that I have my great friends who God has been using them in a mighty and great way that you can ever think of in your life. God has done a lot in their life in a young age and I believe that the Lord is just beginning and you are going to hear about them all over the world. I have my brother Sianda Jikose and uh, his wife uh, Minister Shannon Jikose. Today they are going to be speaking to us in a marvelous way and I, I know that you don't want to miss this conversation that we're going to be having with them right here. My brother, how are you? I'm very, very well. How yes, are you? I know I'm doing so good and I'm so glad to be with you. Uh, I said, when I'm here in Port Elizabeth, I'll make sure that I come to see you. Amen. Because yes. I've been promising to come, but sometimes there's been a lot of things. Amen. Yes. How are you, my sister? My God, you ministered to me even as I just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, thank you. You're doing good, eh? Well, yeah, actually, how's the Isaiah? How's Isaiah doing? Yeah, we have a 14 month old son. Mm -hmm. And our first child, and uh, we are loving it. You are loving yeah. it. Eh? We are Actually, loving you told me that you are enjoying to, to be with him, right? Eh? Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. You know, sometimes you get excited and, and you want to learn things so fast. You, know? you want yes. everything. You want to dive into the meat, and 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 you want to move past the milk. You want, and but having a child really shows you all the developmental stages okay. and the milestones and. You know when and you see them see. when you see them roll over and you see them sit and then you see them them getting like pulling up and now they're gonna walk wow. and you realize that that God is the same with us. And actually, you've given your son a prophetic name. Yeah. Why Isaiah? Um, when I was young, uh, even before I was saved, I grew up in in a in an Anglican environment. I grew up with a Catholic mom and an Anglican dad. Yes. Um, but I started having dreams from a, a very young age. Um. But I just felt that I, I think I just woke up one day and I just said to to my mother that God had spoken to me. I never even knew that God really speaks, yes. you know. But I just felt like the Lord said I would have a son and his name would be Isaiah. Yes. And it was like cast in stone ever since. I was 12 years old. I had Isaiah when I was 31. And, 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 like and, 20, and 20 years later, yes. his name is Isaiah. Isaiah, yes. and Isaiah. And he's a boy. Yeah. He's a son. And, and just like that. Yeah, and I mean, even the... What's so, um, just to tell people a little about and share this testimony okay. is that I, by the, when I was 16, I was diagnosed with endometriosis okay. and was even told that I might not be able to have children, mm. but I knew that the Lord told me I'd have a son. What? So I had, I had so many operations on my womb. Mm. We thought, you know, when I get married, I wondered if I would have a uh, fertility treatment or all of that. But when I married my husband, I got pregnant. Five months later, we weren't even like mm. trying for our son. We didn't son. even have to struggle. Mm. Yes. And then um, yes. we believed too. We kept the pregnancy mm. quiet for most of nine months because I believed that like Elizabeth, yeah. you know, when she was carrying John the Baptist, she concealed. Mm. You know, the Lord even made her husband uh, mute. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's so that he couldn't speak death over what was inside her because wow. of his unbelief. So you knew your son is Isaiah. I what about you? Did, 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 okay. did you have so, the same revelation? Or yes. Did, so or so, so if you, um, we, we'll share a bit later about how we met and yes. um, how we got married and just God's divine working yes. uh, prior to our marriage. And in the period that... When I was single, God also spoke to me that my firstborn would be a son. Mm -hmm. And God highlighted to me the importance of walking um, in a narrow path so that I would create a platform for him to also um, receive Christ. Mm -hmm. And so God was often telling me um, specifically that the way I walk, that will actually model the way for my son. Okay. And God told me that, my son in the future um, will remind me of when I got saved in my youth. Mm. And so 
God specifically told me that our son's name must have the meaning of salvation. Okay, but but you didn't yes. know the specific name. Yes, oh, so that's a funny joke. <laughs> that's a funny joke oh. because I uh, Joshua means um, that God is salvation. Yes. So I thought our son's name would be Joshua. Joshua. Okay. And so when I met my wife and she said, "No, said, the no. name is it's Isaiah. Isaiah. This Isaiah. is you know, God showed this to me." Wow, Absolutely. so much longer than when God showed you. Yeah, oh, so there was a conflict. Yeah, conflict of yeah. interest. So, <laughs> you know, we did a bit of a research and we discovered that the word Isaiah in in its true form means Yahweh is salvation. Messiah, yes. You understand? Messiah, the Ayah. Yeah, I, I, yes. The Savior. Yes. Yeah. So, so, and Joshua means that Yeshua is salvation. Messiah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they both <laughs> they have, the, have same the same meaning. Yes. And in, in, in Hebrew culture, it's not the phonic or the auditory, visible hearing of what the name sounds like. The, the word the name in Hebrew is the word Shem. Mm-hmm. And Shem is about function. You, you know, you know what? Actually, you know, these people that I'm talking to, my viewers of today, they are so much prophetic that we are already entering deeper uh, <laughs> on the prophetic. But I want to you guys to highlight of what God has been doing in your lives yes. so far because you guys, you are actually like so busy. There's been a Lord, you've wrote books here and there's been a Lord that the Lord has been using you. Your wife was ministering last night. So, but what has been God like doing in your personal lives right now in, when it comes to the ministry, just for, for them to know and to understand like how far you have been with the Lord, yes. Yes, well, f- my, my wife for, for one, she studied overseas yeah. for, for three years. Um, in America at Bethel, um, God was using a. So she studied at Bethel. Yes, God was using a prior in, in South Africa, and yeah. then she, you know God opened the door for her to go to Bethel, mm-hmm. and so basically she's been exposed to the world of ministry. Mm-hmm. And I myself, um, over the years of salvation, I've always been ministering yes, at churches, yes, yes. leading yeah, worship, campus, and, yes. and and on campus, mm-hmm. I was the president of one of the main Christian societies. Mm-hmm. You know that that um, basically administrated the other ministries on campus. Yeah. So we've always been a people of ministry. You know, um, mm. functioning in ministry, um, used utilizing our gifts. But we felt when we got married, uh, which is now wow, two, two years, two, years, yeah. two years ago. Yeah. We felt when we got married that God wanted us to get the order correct. Okay. And so we said for the first year of our marriage. Mm. And for the by the time God gives us children, we want those formative years. Yes. Um, that ministry would actually focus on the foundation of our marriage oh, wow. and our family. Mm. And so we didn't pursue as much appointments as we usually would. Yeah. Um, and we focused more on, on strengthening. Family. And you know, um, mm. uh, uh, a pastor that I know he, that 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 was really influential in my life. He mm. said that revival mm. it rests better when it rests in family. Mm-hmm. And so Gabriel and I, because we both had ministries of our own, I've traveled in ministries, he's done conference, I've done conference, we've both been to each other's conferences. Yeah. It was important that we don't have the language of my. Okay. It's not my it's ministry. Not it's not his ministry. Yes, it's but it's our, organically, it yeah. becomes ours. Okay. You see, and so sometimes we also have to let things die. Wow. So that God can birth new things. But you guys, although you talk about that, that you've been focusing on your marriage, but you've still been ministering to the people because still been there's producing. a book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't be you go to the prophetic and not produce. Exactly. 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 You see, so you've, you've been it's overflowing. You understand? Yes. Yes. So yes. you've been working it, yeah, but still overflowing to, to, to the touching of the people around, yeah. isn't it? I yes. think this like, season... Like you wrote the book... Yeah. Uh, 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 my ribs, your organs. I've read the book. Actually, one of the most uh, parts that I love in the book is when you're talking about the the Isaac and, and, and <laughs> yes, Ishmael. Yes, I saw you just got that. that. Yeah, I yeah, saw you love it. I actually, I dwelt on that because you're talking about the child of the promise. You understand? Yes. And the child that is convenient to human makeup of a shortcut yes. in getting the promise of God. Yes. You understand? So, 
Yeah, I, I think you guys have been ministering, you understand, yes, in a way that yes. you've impacted our lives and the lives of many people who actually read those books. You see, so I wanted them to know that at least that you guys have a book and they can get, how can they get the book? So, um, there are platforms like, for instance, Forgot Your Bookstore is one of the bookstores that that has our books um, on the shelves. Yes. Okay. You can email us directly. You can email, email us books, directly. Email mm. on the clip and yes. you, can, you, can, mm. you can email us directly. And just order and we'll ship wherever you Then you can, you can ship it wherever you are. But basically mm. the story about the book was, I think it's now it's nearly seven years. Mm. Wow. Wow. It's nearly seven years. For you, nine, yeah, for me. You, you know, where, where, where God told me to start um, writing for my future to wife. To your wife, yes. You know, I remember. Um, I, and and prepare myself for my future wife. Mm-hmm. And so I would journal my, my walk with God. Mm-hmm. And in me...